Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see today, I have here iPhone 13 Pro. So we are going to do an un unboxing of this iPhone 13 Pro. Um, and we'll see what we have in included inside. Definitely the box is really, really uh, slimmer and skinny uh, as previous iPhone 12 or 12 Pro. And you can see this is iPhone 13 Pro with 256 GB. They're a blue color. All right, let's open the box. So there is a both uh, pull tab on the top and on the bottom as well here. So now we can open the box. I really love the color. This is how on the top, the phone cover. All right, that's the phone here. So USB-C to lightning, but you really need an, an extra adapter for that. Um, definitely you need to buy one or you use your previous Apple charger or if you already have the adapter for it then it's good for you the Apple sticker the SIM card ejector tool and the little quick guide and that's all on the box mm, it's beautiful so it's a paper with a little plastic in here and stick back again. Camera has a little bump in there, right? So this is the iPhone 13 Pro, um, 256 GB. And it weighs around 204 grams. Uh, and uh, the screen size is 6.1 inch. Super Retina XDR display with ProMotion. Uh, 6.1 inch is diagonal all screen OLED display. So 2532 by 1170 pixels resolution at 460 ppi promotion technology uh, with adaptive refresh rates up to 120 hertz hdr display true tone white color p3 haptic touch 1000 nits max brightness 1200 nits max brightness hdr fingerprint resistant uh, only phobic coding support for display of multiple languages and characters simultaneously so it's splash water and dust resistant ip 68 rated uh, maximum depth of 6 meter up to 30 minutes under IEC standard 60529 so there's a 15 bionic chip which has a new 6 core CPU with 2 performance and 4 efficiency cores and new 5 core GPU new 16 core neural engine so the camera has 12 megapixel camera system telephoto wide and ultra wide cameras uh, f 2.0 8 aperture on the telephoto lens and wide f 1.5 aperture Ultra wide f1.8 aperture and 120 degree field of view, 3x optical zoom in, 2x optical zoom out, 6x optical zoom range, digital zoom to 15x night mode portraits enabled by LIDAR scanner, portrait mode with advanced bokeh and depth control, portrait lighting with 6 effects, natural studio contour stage, stage mono, high key mono, dual optical image stabilization, telephoto and wide, sensor shift optical image stabilization wide, six element lens, telephoto and ultra wide, seven element lens wide, true tone, flash with slow sync, panorama up to 63 megapixel, sapphire crystal lens cover. That's what it says on the lens cover here. Look from the close angle here. 100% focus pixel wide, night mode, depth fusion, a smart HDR, for photographic styles, macro photography, Apple Pro Raw, white color capture for photos and light photos, lens correction, ultra wide, advanced red eye correction, photo geotagging, auto image stabilization, burst mode, image format capture, and you can shoot. There's a cinematic mode for recording videos with shallow depth of field, 1080p, 30 frame per second, HDR video recording with Dolby Vision up to 4K at 60 frame per second. 4K video recording at 24 frames per second, 25 FPS, 30 FPS or 60 FPS, 1080 HD recording at 25, 30 or 60 FPS, and there's 720p HD recording at 30 FPS. So ProRes video recording up to 4K at 30 FPS, 1080 at 30 FPS for 128 GB storage. So they have limited that for the 128 GB storage. So we have the volume rocker button here, the silent button, the vibration button here, and the SIM card. And there's a power button here. All right, let's turn on. So 
you see that there's different font now with the hello you could choose language Quick start, bring your phone, iPad or near this iPhone to sign in and set up. If your other iPhone or iPad does not show options for setting up this iPhone, make sure it's running iOS 11 or later and has Bluetooth turned on, you can also set up this iPhone manually. So this is how it works. So if I bring my other iPhone like that and I unlock the iPhone, see that it came up immediately. Even at lock screen, I, I see that set up new iPhone so unlock to continue yeah it's asking for that to continue here hold the iPhone up to camera okay wow so enter passcode of your other iPhone so now it's setting up an iPhone so it's in a dark mode right now it's asking me to choose uh, a Wi-Fi network Connect that, and this is an iPhone XR. So it may take a few minutes to activate your phone. Uh, Apple collects hardware identifiers from your iPhone in order to identify and activate in your service, right? There's a face ID. Um, I'll set that up later. It's asking for transfer data from iPhone. So estimate transfer is about one hour. This is 128 uh, GB iPhone XR and this is uh, 256 GB uh, 13 Pro. So you need to agree all the terms and conditions. So make this new iPhone, apps and data settings and the watch or whatever it was connected before, iPad, so it will, everything will be synchronized with um, this phone now, continue, and keep your iPhone up to date, continue, <coughs> and it's also showing my, um, for the Apple Pay card, whatever it has, so um, I don't want to do that now. Are you recording right now? Now it's preparing for transfer. So it says about two hours, so we have to wait until two hours. Let's do some product capture. So it does detect the, the text as well. Let me take a picture. And now check the image quality here. Let me zoom it out. Yeah. This is like 3x zoom. This is 0.5, it's a wide angle. 
nice. Gotta take that, check the picture out. You can see that text. And we have like a video mode here, cinematic mode, slow mode, time lapse, photo, portrait, and panorama. Alright, the new feature is a cinematic feature. So let's see how this feature works. Alright, now let's see. If you focus one subject here, the, the back object will go like blur right and uh, if you do double tap if you tap two times then it will lock the um, the subject and it will only focus to that subject so even if you move around um, you will only see this subject has a focus on it and the other part outside is blurred out but if you focus on the other side of the product here this way yeah now this let me lock this product out and you can see this product is slightly blurred because not not so much because it's in front right and the other one is focused out on now you can see the real effect yeah even if I put in this side that will still focus on the subject because it's locked in there see that I focus on that and the other one goes blur focus on that and this goes blur all right that's a new feature I'm not going to show you all full review I just did an unboxing that's that's what I want to show it to you and uh, this is pretty um, heavy I don't know how what what was the weight for the 12 but 12 pro but since I had the XR so it's heavier than the XR and you see the camera bump is a little maybe more in here, camera bump yeah overall looks good the stainless is still um, on the side rail and the speaker grill right here alright guys, uh, thank you so much for watching um, make sure you like and share my video if you like the video if you're new to the channel please subscribe